Hello, my name is Natalia Dominguez. Um, I am born and raised in the Bay Area, and I am playing Marcella, which is one of the leads for freshman year. When I got to high school, I did a little bit of theater in high school, which doesn't really count, but that also got me excited. Um, and then after high school, I said I would move to LA to pursue acting, which didn't happen, but um, I ended up pursuing like fashion. So I got into wardrobe, and that was my foot in the door. Um, I was doing like indie films and commercials and I was doing costuming for, for that, not as an actress. Um, so I never really pursued acting in LA because I, I went there and I didn't have a goal. I just kind of said I want to be an actress. There was like nothing that I specific that I wanted to do. I just said I wanted to act and that was a terrible decision. But it wasn't until I got pregnant with my first daughter, who is now four, um, so this is four years ago, um, we ended up moving back to the Bay Area because um, I wanted to be closer to family. And um, I decided I wanted to go back into acting. And um, everything kind of happened in like a very serendipitous way. Um, I started acting again. I was on a commercial and um, I was talking to a girl and I said I want to um, start training for acting. And she said, well, you should come to my school. And one thing led to another, and then now I've been pursuing acting for about a year and a half, full-time. So it's like my full-time job, and I train full-time. I played a hooker for a film, in, uh, a, a feature film in L.A. I also um, played like, like a small supporting role in another feature. Um, I've done a couple short films in the Bay Area as well, but mostly commercial. So I've done a lot of commercial stuff. Luckily, a lot of the commercials that I've done have been had been shot in a very cinematic, um, like cinematic way that it's almost like a short film, which I you know I appreciate. Um, a lot of the commercials are used to being quirky and more upbeat, and you know you have to sell something. Um, but now they're they're bringing more of the film aesthetic to to commercials, and I I appreciate that because it feels more real, and I feel people can relate to it a little more. But also gives it a backstory, you know, especially for all the tech companies that are in the Bay Area now. They need to bring something special that stands out. You know, here's the thing. With LA, I feel like I did a lot of jobs in LA where it was like one and done. I never worked with the same people ever again. In the Bay Area, it feels very community-like. I can work on, on a, like a big job, uh, a big gig, and get this through my agent and then this this company that I end up working for um, we end up just creating a, like a great relationship and I'll get rehired like directly through them I feel like in the Bay Area we all thrive because we all try really hard to help each other and yeah I appreciate it so much more in the Bay Area I wish there's more film um, but I'm enjoying the process one of the biggest things that you know when people come up to me and ask me I'm just like so like, oh, that's so sweet that you think that I have it all together. It's like, no one actually has it all together. But the thing is, it's like, you have to be working continuously. It's sacrificing, you know, like being an actor is not just like fun and, and glamorous. It's a lot of it is, you know, you have to be willing to take care of your admin, which is your administration. It's, your, it's not just about like going to set and being cute. It's like, you have to put in the work. Um, one of the biggest things that has helped me, and this is a tip that I tell all of my friends who are getting into acting or people that I meet, you know, this is how I get rehired. It's like, I always send a thank you to people that I work with. And snail mail is so powerful. You know, it's like writing a letter to a director that you worked with. It's incredible, not just because you want to get the job, but you, you have to remember to be grateful and you have to let those people know. Because sometimes, you know, it's like some of the biggest directors, you can send them a letter and they'll be so shocked that they received this letter. It's like, wow, you've become memorable. There's something special about you that, you know, not only are you great at what you do, but you're grateful and that's really important. You know, it sets you apart from everybody else. And that's one of my biggest, biggest, biggest uh, piece of advice for anyone. Again, it's just like baby steps, you know, you have to start somewhere.